All right, you're gonna say, whoa, wait a minute. What car is this, right? Um, finally wanting to get back into uh, actually getting this thing to the point where it's gonna start. Um, if you can't tell by the thumbnail, um, we've got oil in this thing, we've got uh, break-in stuff, we've got zinc additive, we've got uh, transmission fluid is in. Um, right now what I'm working on is we are going to be installing the uh, hydraulic line here kit that comes from Run It Performance for the hydraulic clutch. Um, I've been putting this off because, well, this is going to suck. Um, I would like to have had it before I put the engine in. Um, so anyway, it is what it is and we got to do this. So let's dig in. All right, so <clears throat> I was getting ready. Um, I got myself a little hammer and a punch so that I can drive this out right here. Um, I also have a pan down there. I'm going to run this line down to drain it. I did already uh, Suck out the fluid out of the master cylinder. So I have that unbolted here also now I'll put it back on try not to make a mess um, While this is draining, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to unbolt the two nuts that are on the master cylinder now this already has the DCR, it's a DCR uh, master and the push rods in there, okay? Um, I pulled the wheel off so I can get access to get up in here to run my line. Now, with this being said, that line runs down behind the bracket for your ABS if it's run the correct way um, and then comes up around and then into here, which is why you have so many problems bleeding these things out, all right? Not only that, you, you'll... You, you can get stuff clogged and it will not go through this connector here also, which is one of the reasons why you upgrade. Um, so what I'm going to do here probably is, like I said, I'm going to pull this apart. I'll let it drain while I'm unbolting that. And then once I pull that out, I'll get it past this wiring. And what I'll probably end up doing is I'm just going to cut this plastic line, which you can see it right back here in front of my fingers. And then I'm just gonna pull it out. Um, I'm not reusing this stock line. I have plenty of them if I need one. Um, and then I'm just gonna discard it and get rid of it entirely, all right? And then we have to install these right here, these fittings, with these O-rings, down in here and then reinstall the roll pin, all right? So, like I said, I just have this here. This has, uh, this punch fits right in here. I'm gonna give it a little tap with the hammer. We're going to disconnect that and then I'll show you what it's like trying to fight that out of there. All right, I have the little roll pin removed. Make sure you don't lose this because you will need it again. Um, also, uh, these are usually in here kind of tough. Um, you want to make sure that you don't get any brake fluid in your eyes. So I have safety glasses on, but as a secondary precaution, not only that, I just don't want to get this stuff on my hands. I'm going to wrap this around here like this and hold the line. Let me just give it a pull. Man, this thing's making me look weak. There we go. All right, so what I did was pulled these two bolts here so I could move this wire up. All right, and if you can see back in there, which it's kind of hard. The uh, master cylinder's back there. Yep, you can kind of see it there. Um, basically, what I did was I pushed it toward this direction and then pulled out because I could get my finger on the top line here, the hose, and on the lower. <clears throat> So you can see the line here now. 
Just gonna get down in here, give this thing a chop. Just like that. Let's go. There's the rest of the fluid running out. Still running. I had flushed this thing out, so it's actually some pretty good clean, clear fluid. It's actually stuck in the master cylinder. So I gotta pop the clip and then I can pull that whole thing out at one shot. All right, well, here's my wonderful, wonderful workbench, like normal. <clears throat> okay, um, I drove the pin out, so I have the, uh, I said it was a DCR when it was replaced at one time, I have the master out, not that, I don't know, if it's any different, I'm not sure, I'm not here to state that, it was in the car when I got it, so, alright, well, get our old seal out it wasn't it's was missing off of the end so here we go install seen it slid past grab the roll pin give it a little tap and basically all I gotta do is the same thing for this one I'll have to grab the end up there I'm gonna clean it off just a little bit and uh, We'll get that installed. Um, I gotta still remove the line from the car. It was still draining, so I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna pull it this way and then pull it down out the side over here. All right, we got the slave here installed. Like I said, I cleaned it out, uh, wiped it. I actually put a little bit of brake fluid on this end before I pushed it in for the seal, so it had some lube. Here is our old line. I just, like I said, Grabbed the hold of it, untwist it, yanked her down out. All right, now I have the master cylinder back up in here. Um, I ran the line down underneath. Now you want to make sure that you tighten the line onto that fitting. Now that fitting will spin in the cylinder. Just make sure that you have everything where it needs to be when you're going to reinstall this. So it's kind of pretty much the same way it came out, uh, an extreme pain in the you-know-what. No worry, it can, it can be done. It came out, it's got to go back in, right? Well... I'm gonna get my really, really long finger here. I'm trying not to damage my paint. Sometimes you got to muscle them in a little bit. All right. Woo. All right. So this is usually always plenty long. Um, these seem to be 15, and then the other fitting seems to be a 14. Just kind of get it started like that. All right. Now, I don't know why, this one here. Most of the time, these are always broke off, but for some reason, this one had them. Let's see. Greasy in there, which is good. So 
this is probably one of the only parts on this car that is not new all right i'm just going to like let this hang here um <clears throat> basically because i'm going to well i'm going to start with it in let's start with it in start with it in the transmission all right now um I'm just going to go inside. I'm going to reinstall them. I did notice something that I thought was a little funny. Most of these here just come out. They don't have this little end. So it's a little bit different. So I'm not sure if this was an older one or just a different style that wasn't a DCR or if this was this is the one that comes with there were their uh master cylinder when they sell it it's the first time i've seen one so that's why i had to pop that out um we have two nuts here these are always fun to get on the lower one's easy the upper one's really tough um i kind of use a quarter drive with um uh, yeah a swivel sometimes i get some tape wrapped around it to make it a little bit stiffer um that helps and you know you got to have a flashlight all right here's our clip that holds it on so let's get this thing installed let's get this clutch working i'm going to do some cussing kind of stuff that you can't put on youtube while i'm underneath this dash so everything's together out here now i left this loose so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pump and then it's going to push the fluid down and then i can push this and get it back up out of the way um We'll just have to see which way is going to be best to route this um, it's long enough that you can route it down in behind um, i kind of stuck it down in between this bracket back here hopefully i can get the slack out of the way where i need it to be um, i just wanted to show up under here <clears throat> um, when you have the aftermarket push rod it's out of the way so you can actually get to that upper bolt or upper nut you can see the lower one there and then there's one right above it um, but everything is back assembled here now um, basically what I'm gonna do to bleed this I did this uh, the last time I installed one of these like I said I let this lower fitting loose down here so it's going to be kind of like if you're bleeding bleeding brakes um, it's gonna build pressure and then it'll come out down here on this piece and then run down into my pan um once i get all of that out of the line i will then do the standard bleed where i can push um how can you say it the air this will go down in and it'll actually fill that down there also so the air will actually come up out of that i do that and pump it as long as it's coming out there then i'll bleed it the normal way where i'll probably pull it out and pull it lower and then push and get all of the air bubbles to the point where they come up out of our master uh, reservoir. reservoir. <clears throat> okay. The level of that is actually dropping. I'm sure it can't be seen in this camera. So I'm going to hand pump the pedal slowly a couple times. All right, well, I'm not going to lie. I tried the pump, pump, pump. And then I tried pushing, which there's no fluid down there because I had everything completely drained. And you're probably going to too. So, what I did was I pulled the fitting back out of this, screwed it into the line. I had one of these right here, a little vacuum pump. I put some vacuum on it, and eventually it sucked out the reservoir all right um once it did that i kind of sucked it down a little quick because it kind of like it like popped like something was holding it so um i filled it back up again i sucked some back through i disconnected it put everything back together let this hang down um pumped and pumped and pumped and then eventually it started to run out because i left this loose i tightened that up cleaned everything back up and then i I kind of got the ability to, um, I kind of pushed in on that 
and I ended up making a mess because I, I, you can see it's a little glossy there. I shot some fluid out. Now, um, once I did that, everything's back in where it needs to be, and we're bleeding it. Now, oh, see that? I'm holding it. Some bubbles are coming out. Okay, so now um, I like to come in. Give it some pumps. <clears throat> the pedal did stiffen up after about three or four of those. I can tell you from pushing on it. All right, I'm gonna try it a couple more times, but I think that pretty much is going to finish up the install. Um, the black line looks nice. It kind of just blends in so you don't see it. Um, I have to get it, you see it's like laying here. So I gotta feed it up through here in the back, kind of like that, get it up on top, yep. Okay, so there's where we wanna be pretty much. I'm gonna get my reverse light switch wire up here too. I'll have to put a zip tie in that. Like I said, I mean, there's still lots of things I got to do to this car. Um, nothing's entirely together. I know I got some stones in here. But um, that's, uh, yeah. So I'll probably just check this one more time. Um, the clutch does feel pretty stiff because it is the uh, heavy duty um, ACD, ACT puck clutch that I had installed. Um, and it's been installed sitting there for months now. Um, now that this is done, um, I got a couple small things I got to go over yet. And there will be a startup video here really soon with this. So that's it.